what's going on? I haven't done a little, an update in a little while, so I thought I would do an update. Um, I've actually been working on uh, quite a bit of stuff in all of the different sizes of uh, world building I do. So I got this big Imperial shuttle here, and it's legacy scale. So it is slightly bigger than the, the actual original Kenner release. The wings do work and everything. It was like uh, a lot of work to like Dremel those down so they fit. It was kind of a messed up print. So uh, yeah, I had to do quite a bit of work to get that going, but it looks great up there. I did have one, a vintage one, but uh, I was offered way too much money and so I sold it. But uh, I mean, we were talking about hundreds of dollars that I could use for like other world building stuff and more figures. So I definitely jumped on that. And uh, I've been like getting a lot more of these like two-legged walkers. So I've been adding them. I kind of sort of changed this around a little bit, but you can like go check it out. I just uploaded a full world tour. So yeah, we did that. Uh, I've been working on my uh, Nar Shada docking bay here. I've also got that in my full tour video. Just printing stuff off. I've got a, quite a few commissions going right now. I'm finishing one up for uh, New Mandalore this week. And then, uh, yeah, I've got uh, the Marauder shuttle to print for Lord of Thane. I'm doing a full custom for another person on that one. And then definitely, yeah, I'll stop talking about it after this video. But, yeah, I love this Ebon Hawk. Just awesome. Turned out so great. But, yeah, just working away at building all this stuff. Uh, definitely, I just got a whole bunch more stuff for my little uh, jam room band hangout here. So I'm going to add a bunch of stuff to that. Um, and then I ordered a whole bunch of, they're over here though. So for my Marvel Legends, I decided to make like a Stan Lee's bar kind of thing. So I've got like caps, like helmet and shield and a few other like little memorabilia things. I've got a lot more to add. But I ordered these off of... Uh, Amazon these little wine bottles and beer glasses and stuff like that. So yeah, they're really cool. I've got a line of them I got a whole bunch. It was only like 10 bucks and I think they sent like 30 of them. So Just figuring out how I'm gonna set this up. I've got my apocalypse fighting Shatterstar and cannonball there. There's a bunch of other stuff going on But yeah, I'm just gonna rearrange all this. I actually kind of happy because I watched X-Men 97 so then all of a sudden I was like, okay, I gotta like rearrange like everything. So yeah, I'm gonna probably redo like the X Mansion setup and stuff here. But yeah, I've just been bouncing around to all these different uh, scales that I'm working on. But yeah, I've been kind of populating. I'm getting a whole bunch of figures. I got a whole bunch of army builders from Dom, so I threw them in there. So yeah, it's been really like coming together like super well. So just working on that stuff, working on the two shows a week. So yeah, remember you can check out wmc this friday 8 p.m eastern standard time and uh we do toy squad monday at 6 p.m eastern standard time so we're gonna have action figure mayhem this friday he's got a pretty cool setup so i can't wait to do that but yeah going back to this stuff yeah i've been working on like my little ewok village here so this is supposed to be like a new republic or republic outpost on uh endor I've got some Wookiees hanging out there. But yeah, it's, this is the Ewoks home base. And those are three, 3D printed Ewoks and little drum sets. So I figured uh, I'd give that a try. Did an okay job. But uh, yeah, the filament printers don't do great jobs on action figures. That is most definitely for sure. But yeah, so I'm just working away on this kind of stuff right now. So I'm rocking these uh, 3D prints for people. These are actually the fins and the wings for uh, the Bad Batch Marauder ship that are printing out here. So they're turning out good. Uh, what I'm going to try and do, because people keep requesting stuff. So this is that uh, Dejeric bench that I've been sending people. So I'm going to try and like actually print like a stockpile of certain items that I always send out. Like I usually always send out the, uh, the bench, you know, the seating and stuff like that. Waiting for a couple parts for uh, that old beast there, so he's down for the day. Should get my parts from Amazon shortly. But yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff, like tons of parts to clean. I'm not going to show you. I've got uh, new Mandalore stuff all painted up, but I'm not going to show you that. I'll let him uh, do the unveiling. I've got to send that out to him, hopefully by the end of the week. And he can show you guys what uh, what it looks like. But yeah, now I've got to do a bunch more rearranging. I can like barely get back to my G.I. Joe setup. 
bunch of figures fell down, and then I've got a whole bunch just sitting on deck there that have shown up on Amazon or from Amazon or whoever I ordered them from. So I got to work on that. But I got a massive pile of like parts to clean again. There's that whole like Marauder back section. I got doors. I got other ship parts. Like it's crazy, man. I've also been working a lot more on like kind of filling in the details. Like I've got this like hut apartment here. There's zero the hut. He's 3D printed. I think this is like Voga the hut. He's also 3D printed. You know, I've got the other apartment down here. I love that like stone fireplace print that I found. So I use that quite, quite a bit. There's a big one here, little one down here. And yeah, this apartment, but uh, I don't know. This whole like apartment building thing has been awkward. I can't seem to quite find a great place to put it. And this is kind of like where I sort of throw stuff I don't have like any real like room for or plan for yet. Like this is my whole like Brotherhood of Steel setup. I'm a huge Fallout fan, like even back from like the OGs. So yeah, I've always wanted to have like the Fallout. So I've been making like mostly power armor out of those dollar store Gundams. So I'll just print out the power armor helmet then glue it right onto the Gundam bodies. And this is all Fallout stuff here too. Got like the, whatever the workbench for the power armor or whatever they call that. Yeah, I got that. It's a G.I. Joe mech. That's probably like the coolest G.I. Joe mech I've ever seen. It's like the one of the only things I kept from my three and three quarter collection when I sold it. And then I've been working more on my movie theater. So I got uh, Robot Chicken Star Wars playing on the in the movie theater right now, and it's the Organa Theater. But yeah, my setup goes like way too far back. But I'll probably change it again someday. I like to change it up. Oh, I guess they killed that guy. He finally died. But uh, yeah, so I've been just working on that. And just adding the small details, like I've said in the past, like I tend to get kind of like running through stuff. And then go back and put the details in later. Like originally Dex's diner here was only just that. Uh, just the table and the benches and stuff like that. But uh, I've added like signage on the walls. Which makes it extremely difficult when I uh, do this and like build out. Like you've got, I've got this whole like pillar that juts out from uh, the main section here. So yeah, it can be a little challenging. But kind of getting the cart before the horse but i get excited to set stuff up especially when i see what everybody else in the community is doing you want to like kind of emulate that or you take your inspiration from that and build off of that but yeah and then i got my signage for all the different channels i got a few more that i gotta put up there's pirates of the galaxy went zilla timbo famous studios yeah i've got a whole bunch of stuff there's that uh magazine that pirates and i think went zilla were working on but yeah, got all the signage up. Just about everybody's got it. And then I've got this. Everybody always likes to see this. So this is like the tickets for uh, my different intergalactic uh, destinations. Got to now boarding. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up. I didn't, uh, I think I showed off a bunch of the stuff I worked on. i just mostly been rearranging. Working on customs, getting stuff glued together. But remember, you can check out uh, World Makers Consortium Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this week, we've got Action Figure Mayhem on. Uh, I think we're taking a break next Monday for Toy Squad, but normally it's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, yeah, that'll uh, pretty much wrap it up. And uh, hope to see you on the sh at the show on Friday night. And, uh, yeah, until then, just take it easy.